Everything we do is absolutely real. The thing that welding makes, you know, engineering important or how it ties together with engineering is that welding, we build everything that we design. So the, the nice, uh, you know, factor of building things is, is you can find out what you've drawn, will it actually work? Is it possible to actually put that together? And then, you know, how does, you know, each item actually fit together? The thing that I would say to upcoming engineering students would be that I would like to see, you know, what abilities they've got, what they can do to make themselves better as a person, and then how are they going to help the world with some kind of an engineering feat, something that's going to make them that much better in society. Um, the skills that the students learn in CAD are well, obviously computer-aided drafting and design. They're learning how to draft using these programs, the high-end programs that are available to them. Uh, they do learn basic drafting skills, they learn basic drawing skills, and then they go into AutoCAD, which is a, it's a computer program, but it's a drawing program, so basically it's reproducing drawings. Then they can go into SolidWorks, which is a 3D modeling program, and learn 3D modeling. Uh, just a, a neat, fun program that does an awful lot more than just draw. And also the architectural students do a program called Revit, which is a BIM, Building Information Management program, that's a 3D driven program. So they, they learn drafting, obviously, and then they learn how the computers take those skills and how to turn those into computer programs or computer files.